Hi there, it's Donna from Tappy Crafting and thank you for joining me today. If this is the first time that you've come across me and you like nice, simple, straightforward paper crafting tutorials, then hit the subscribe button, click on the bell and receive from me two to three times a week some easy to follow, straightforward card making and gift box making tutorials. All of this week and into next week, I want to start showing you a lot more of what's going to be coming in the mini catalogue that's launching on the 4th of August. And that is about as much as I can show you. Um, so it is, how many pages we've got? Over 100 pages, Eight, so it's not, 83 pages full of beautiful winter theme. It's not all Christmas, there's some real nice autumn thing themes here. I'm gonna show you something in a moment. Um, but really it's it's kind of based on Christmas at the front. Um, so if you really like getting your Christmas craft going um, from you know the middle of the summer, this is the catalogue for you. And as soon as it goes live, I will put a link to it in on my Facebook page. So if you go along to facebook.com forward slash taffy crafting, I'll leave a link to the catalogue. You can also see that on my blog as soon as it goes live. So if you'd like to subscribe to my blog, you'll find a link to it in the description bar below. But it's taffycrafting.blogspot.com. What I want to show you is Gilded Autumn and I've got a lovely project for it. Um, so we have here, I've done something with this um, a week or so ago when I made a little gift box, which here it is. So Cajun Craze cardstock with the little acorns and sycamore leaves um, on very vanilla. So there's that squashes and pumpkins with a kind of an eggshell pattern. I don't know if you can see that. This is the one I'm going to be using today. I love that. Cajun Craze, mint macaron, very vanilla and early espresso. A lovely mix of colour. We've got that on the back. Back to that. Makes me eye goes, eyes go funny. I don't know what this is. My fellow Stamping Up demonstrator, Crafty Karen Designs, thinks it's a pine cone. She might be right there. I've no idea. That, I think, is lovely. If you've got somebody who's got a birthday in autumn, how gorgeous is that? This is, oh, stunning. It's like the foiled version of what we're going to use today. Beautiful, just, just stunning. And then some lovely stripes, I'm loving these stripes. We've got soft suede, Cajun craze, early espresso, mint macaron on very vanilla. Beautiful. And look at that. Mint macaron with, I think it's gold, but it might actually be bronze, I don't know, or copper. Not certain but I can't look at that. <laughs> you might like that, I can't look at that. Makes me eyes go funny. So I'm going to be using today that just because I love the colours. Let's put the other bits away before I lose them and they all get separated. I'm really trying to, with the launch of the catalogue that we had at the beginning of June, sorry, to be a tidier crafter. But I tend to just shove stuff on the floor, shove it behind me. Anyway, I've got a card, um, I'm following a sketch challenge and I've got a card, I haven't put it together yet. I'll give you all the measurements in a second. And so we've got rectangles and ovals. So let me show you how I've put this together and I'll give you all the measurements because I like to hear the measurements in a YouTube tutorial and then be able to go to the blog just to go back to that. But I like to write things down as I'm listening to a tutorial. I don't know about you, but that's what I like to do. Um, and therefore, that's what I do in my videos. So I've got a piece of very vanilla. You don't have to have very vanilla. You can have whatever colour you like. Um, but I've got very vanilla there just because on the back of that is very vanilla. So I, I try and keep it coordinated if I can, just because that's what I'm comfortable with. So this measures, you can't even see the whole thing on the screen. This measures, um, what does it measure? 11 and three quarters, I forgot there, by four and an eighth. It's a half of a UK A4. And I've scored that down the middle at five and seven eighths. And then I've got a piece of mint macaron this measures four inches by five and three quarters. 
and I'm just going to put that, you'll see it gives it a really lovely narrow border all the way around. Mint macaron with very vanilla is lovely. I'm going to see if my glue pen works. It was all gummed up yesterday when I was doing a Facebook Live. Um, if you'd like to join me live, I'm going to do a Facebook Live tonight. You just need to find me on my uh, Facebook page. My glue's not working. Um, so facebook.com forward slash Taffy Crafting. And at around about 8.30 tonight, I'm going to do a live. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. I've got an idea. I'm not going to wing it. So that's my job for this afternoon. So I'm going to make this video and it's going to just go straight to straight to being published. No scheduling it. So my job for this afternoon is to get that live prepared. So there are two rectangles. And then what I've done is I've taken a piece of the DSP and I've got four pieces. Now, as you can see, if you put them all together, they fit. Now, I didn't measure that. Now, that measures, this might not work. Yes, that measures three and a half inches by four and, no, three and a half inches by five inches. And then you just split it into four so that when you you kind of get a full image, but it's been, does that make sense? But it's kind of been expanded. Does that make sense? Um, so each of these measures one and three quarters. I'm just going to check. Yeah, one and three quarters by two and a half. And then when you put them on there, just make sure that you've got them all in the right place. Like that. And just watch your placement first before you glue them on. I'll go with that. I could be staring at that all day. And I bet you're looking at this guy. Just stick it down, woman. Just stick it down. So I'll stick it down before you start shouting at me. So just using wet glue for this. You could do another layer with these um, rectangles if you want to. You can put as many layers on as you like. Layering just really gives an extra dimension to, some, to your cards. Um, makes them look less flat. And the thing I love about these sketches, and if you wonder where I get them from, I just go on Pinterest and I, I, t I just type in the word in the search part, sketches. And then you get lots of people doing drawing. They say, no, no, not, not that type of sketch. Um, so maybe if you want to um, search card uh, sketches for card making. And I found one and it was Cards TV. And this particular lady, whose name I can't remember, but Cards TV is her blog. And she had on there 33 sketches. And that's what I'm following, along with my two crafty mates, Vicky Lou Designs and Crafty Karen Designs. We are all doing them. Now, we're not doing the same sketches every day because that would be boring. So one of them is doing all the odd numbers. One is doing all the even numbers and then going back to the odds or going back to the evens. And then I'm... Um, no, I'm doing all the even numbers and all the odds. And then the other one is doing starting from one to 33. And the other one is starting from 33, going back to one. It's all very, very complicated. Um, but that's what we, um, I think I set that challenge. Um, they're probably cursing me for that now. But it does mean that it gives us some inspiration because we like to try and blog. They like to try and blog every day. I try and blog every other day if I can. And it just gives you some inspiration when you've just got no idea what to do next. Anyway, so there are my rectangles on there. And using the stitched framelit dies, uh, those stitched shape dies, I've got two ovals. So there are four ovals, four squares and four circles in this pack. These are the two largest ovals. And so off camera, because you can't really see it, I have die cut mint macaron. No, I've done something else first, actually. I'll go back to the die cuts. I've got two rectangles first. So I've got this one. This measures seven eighths of an inch by four inches. And I just want that to go along the middle there because when I put that on there, 
it actually looks like that these rectangles are not rectangles, they're a different type of shape. Are you on my wavelength? Do you get what I'm saying? I <laughs> Am I just on the Donna wavelength? And something I discovered yesterday, so I've been looking at all of my different social media things, and when people are, you know, might be looking for me, maybe to join my stamping up team or to come and join, you know, come and join me with stamping up or to come and find me in other places, they don't always know what my name is. So my name is Donna, Donna Lester, and I live in Mid Wales in the UK. And I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Um, so you know, if you, my name is not Taffy Crafting, that's just the, uh, that's just my social media name. So four inches by seven eighths of an inch and this is three and seven eighths by three quarters of an inch just gold foil i didn't really know what color to put on there i could have put on some cajun craze i could have put on the um the early espresso but i just wanted i could have even done very vanilla i think i just wanted a bit of bling on it So everything's stuck down with wet glue. That is my adhesive of choice when I'm using layering, just because it means I can just shift things about before the glue sets. Like that. And then I've used the same layering for my ovals. So mint macaron oval, that's the biggest oval. And then we've also got, I've got the gold foil as well for the smaller oval like that so the bigger oval oh, what am I going to do let's actually put this on put that to one side I want to attach that with mini dimensionals <clears throat> which I've got here and if I had a favorite adhesive it's this and I have to use tweezers for these because my nails won't let me <clears throat> pick the backing off I don't know where I got these tweezers from. So handy. Is that all of them? Yep. And I'm just going to get that in the centre as best I can. Like that. And then I used, where is that stamp set? I used the posted for you stamp set, which I've put down somewhere. What have I done with that? Um yeah, that is weird. What have I done with that? Put it down clearly and I'll find it in a second. Here it is underneath a piece of paper posted for you. And I've stamped happy birthday in early espresso on some mint macaron. And then I've punched that out with a classic label punch. This is quite narrow. I didn't realise this before I bought it. So if it's going on your wish list, a link to my shop in the description bar below. If you uh, are looking to purchase this, just be aware of the of the height of that. It is. It's less than half an inch. Uh, it is less than half an inch. It's probably about five eighths of an inch. So be aware of that. I'm not saying don't buy it because it's it's very handy when I use it, but just be aware that it is it is narrow. So again, just with dimensionals. And I'm going to try and get that in the middle as best I can. as best I can without being able to see properly. Okay, so then I want to then put that on there so that my happy birthday runs through the middle of that. And I'm going to stick that on as well with dimensionals. Then we are almost done. A nice quick project. If you wanted to make a bundle of these, you could get a bit of a production line going. Get your card bases done and then do your layers and then your rectangles and then just get them done in like a production line. And there we have it. Just fold that over and burnish it. 
and you have a lovely birthday card using some beautiful autumnal colours. And, you know, we're the end of July now, we're in another month and then we'll be into autumn. So if you want to get your autumn cards all ready and sorted, ready for your uh, birthdays at the end of the year, that's a good one. That's a really nice paper to go for. Um, I'll leave all the links you need in the description bar below. But for the time being, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll be back again probably tomorrow with another project for you. I'll see you then. Bye bye.